And good to have you back once again on the Tri-State Fort pregame show. This afternoon, we are debuting a new future on the program, a Where Are They Now segment. From time to time, we'll check in with some of your favorite Yankees from years gone by. And we're starting with Phil Linz. He played for the Yankees in the early to mid-60s and is well known for one incident involving a musical instrument. Just seven miles from Yankee Stadium on Manhattan's famed 42nd Street in a nondescript city building, in an insurance office like many others, there works a man who may seem like your average suit and tie, but he's actually a member of a rare fraternity, a band of brothers who've shed blood, sweat, and tears for our amusement. They're known by the uniform that they wore, the fabled pinstripes. It's like being in the Marines. You put that uniform on, in my case, it was, it, was, it was true. It was like I felt so much better than the average player. Phil Linz is a Baltimore native who first donned the pinstripes over 50 years ago when the Yankees recruited him at just 17 years old. Many of his greatest memories were made in pinstripes. I remember my first day in 62, walked into the clubhouse looking for my name with a locker, and I look up, I see Linz, and I look to my left, and I see Mantle. I said, oh my God, I'm right next to Mickey Mantle. My locker was next to him for four years. And of course, the World Series was big for me in 64. I was able to play all seven games in the 64 series. Hit a couple home runs, went off of Gibson. But that's not what Linz is best remembered for. Rather, it's a certain incident with a harmonica that has become Yankees legend. The story begins with Linz simply trying to learn the instrument he'd recently bought for amusement on the road. You know, they have the learner's sheet. They draw in, draw it, play by the numbers. And the first tune in that was Mary Had a Little Lamb. And I had never played a harmonica before in my life, so that whole day and night, I started trying to play it. And we were in Chicago. We were sitting on the back of the bus after the game. We lost all four games, so it looked like we were out of the pennant race. And I started trying to learn how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb. And Yogi said something in front it was very quiet, and, uh, and I know what he said now. But he said, show that harmonica. And uh, Mickey was across from me, and I said, Mickey, what did he say? And Mickey said, he said, play a ladder. So I continued to play. And then Yogi came from the back and on the front. He ran up the aisle, and I flipped the harmonica to him. And he spotted it out of my hand, and then we had a small argument, no, nothing physical. And then, he, then the next the day, you know, everything was quiet. And then we got to the ballpark. That night, there were people throwing harmonicas on the field and singing Mary Had a Little Lamb. It was all over the papers, and actually all the papers in the country. It was like, it's like national headlines, so, so crazy. So the next day, Yogi finds Lynn's $250, dollars da 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 So two weeks later, I get a call from the Holder Harmonica Company, the makers of this Marine Band Harmonicas. And they offered me 10000 to endorse the harmonica. So, so, uh, so I took the endorsement, and that was the story. Yogi said, you know, you should have included me on that. The harmonica incident may have helped turn things around for the Yankees, who went on to win the pennant. But it also may have cost Yogi Berra his managing job, which he lost at the end of the season. Linz was eventually traded from the Yankees, and when his baseball career ended after 1968, he opened a series of restaurants, which eventually closed down. So why did the former Yankee turned nightclub owner get into the insurance business? I started this business and I felt, you know, this is something I could do and enjoy myself. The job does have its perks. It comes with season tickets. Take clients to the game, which is a nice thing to do. Good way to make a living. Go watch the Yankees play. And almost 50 years after donning the pinstripes, Phil Linz still holds dear his Yankee experience. Being a Yankee for me was just beyond my wildest dreams. Well, even though his time with the Yankees was brief, Phil Linz carved out a place for himself in franchise history. He was a member of their world champion 62 team. And while he didn't play in that fall classic, he did appear in each of the next two World Series. Of course, he will likely be best known in Yankees universe for the sweet sounds of his harmonica.